been a whole week since I did the light installation and the truck was just parked sitting there. I haven't started it yet. So now we're gonna see. Did those two LED lights kill my battery or not? So let's try to start it up. Let's put the key in. Hello and welcome to another exterior video where I work my truck. Sometimes I'm successful, sometimes I'm not. And on today's video we're actually gonna continue working with our lights. A while back I got some pod lights for my hood, so that's where we're gonna be working today. So this is all the stuff I got and hopefully, hopefully this time it's gonna be enough and I'm not gonna be missing any parts. Once again I got this wire harness which I opened it up to just to make sure that this was the right one. And this is the light, which will come back in a minute. Also, I got all the hardware and I got a variety of all kind of screws because uh, what the light came with in the bracket, which I'm going to show you in a minute, is was not really... It was okay, but it was missing a few parts. So just to make it better, I got some other stuff I will show you as well. And this is just a typical bracket that goes on a hood. I got it. It was pretty cheap. And of course, this is the lights itself. I went with the amber lights and I think and I hope that these lights will work pretty good. Of course, once I put it up, I'm going to try to seal all of this around so no moisture goes in. But you never know. The moisture might go through here as well, but who knows. So right now I'm going to assemble the lights and I'm going to install the lights first. And then I'm going to take care of the wire and harness switch. Uh, I'm probably not even going to film because it's the same procedure as the ones I did for the light bar. So you can always just check that. For the wire and harness, I'm just going to follow the same direction and just going to wire it up exactly the same. I'm just going to wire it up to my old battery. So now I'm going to have two LED lights here and I'm going to leave it as it is and we're going to test it again. Will those two LED lights kill my old battery in a week or not? If it doesn't kill, it's pretty good, which I'm always gonna leave an update in the description, but we'll see. And again, for now, I'm just gonna wire it up like that because I'm working, I'm planning to do something over here, or maybe inside, which gonna take care of all the wiring. But for now, let's just assemble the lights because it's a little bit tricky to do it and then i'm gonna work on a wiring harness now as you can see i already assembled one of the lights because i was testing it out what could be the best way to do it and what i actually need to do it in order to get this done right so now i'm just gonna show you what i did over here i replaced all the screws that it came with that's why i got uh, the black screws uh, i feel like they're better quality I also got these lock washers so i put the lock washer in between the bracket and the uh, the other bracket and then over there I used another washer and another spring washer to keep it tight the same thing I use inside there I put the uh, lock washers on both sides to make it tight and with a spring washer that way it all came out good so now I'm just gonna repeat procedure with this light and we're gonna be ready to install it so this is the hardware that it comes for this particular light but one of the things that this bracket over here, it doesn't really, <laughs> doesn't really get tight in there anyways. So that's why you need to use washers on the inside and then it gets tight. So first on the inside over there, we're going to use these 3 8 lock washers. So first on the inside, we're going to use these 3 8 lock washers. We're going to use these 14 millimeter screws that's gonna go on the sides along with two spring washers that it actually comes with so at least we're using some of those parts so to align all of that in there that could be a little bit tricky but just play with it take your time and it's all doable so once i get all of this done we'll continue right after a little bit of a struggle i was able to align the washers in there i'm not gonna make it tight yet so i can adjust it and just keep in mind the way you assemble this bracket it has to be underneath where the wire is because if you put it the other way around, the light, you're not going to be able to point the light down. But in this way, you can adjust it to point it more down or up and stuff like that. All right. So now let's assemble this part, which is comes over here and different set. And, and as always, I'm going to leave all the links in the description. So you're free to look at those parts as well, but maybe you can find something better. Now I'm not gonna reuse any, almost none of those parts. Now over here, if we just uh, 
screw it like that it's not really gonna get tight because uh, it's kind of soft surface so it just moves around so that's why you need to use one of these half inch lock washers so that's just gonna go over here like that then we're gonna use I uh, was able to find these washers which is a brass washers and this is a number uh, 14s whatever that means <laughs> uh, they were the closest thing I was able to fit in this in that groove over there I hope you guys can see it because there is a like a little groove in there so I had to use one of these washers to fit it in there along the side with this M6 lock washers I don't know why I always call them spring washers but they are lock washers anyways and to screw it I'm not gonna use the screws that it comes with I picked up this um, M6 12 millimeter screw so that's what I'm gonna use and it's black as well so now we're just gonna align everything like that this washer goes over here then we're gonna take this screw like that and just screw it in there just try to keep the washers in the middle that way it has appropriate grip and it kind of make it tight probably it's better to assemble this first than this but anyways you can do it with the iron key no problem all right and that's pretty much how it's gonna be and that's it this is ready to be installed on the hood so let's do that now and to install this on the hood this is very simple all we have to do is just unscrew these bolts and then we're just gonna slide it over here and make it tight now just keep in mind about this little plate over there that slides around like nothing this has to stay in there so you don't crimp the individual but you kind of crimp it with this plate let's just check it out make sure it fits all right and just like that now before screwing it in i actually saw a few posts saying that people that over time these screws come loose and they just come off so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put a thread locker on them so hopefully that will prevent it from these screws coming loose so now i'm just gonna apply a little bit of thread locker on them okay and now let's just screw it in all right now this is all secured now let's just close the hood carefully and just keep an eye make sure that the bracket doesn't interfere with the hood and with uh anything that there is enough room and yeah it fits perfect so now i'm gonna do the same on the other side and we're gonna continue right, the second light is in just make sure when you're whenever you install them make sure you have the same space otherwise it's gonna look awkward so now let's close the hood and just make sure that the light brackets don't interfere with anything and as you can see it's pretty good all right the lights are in now i'm gonna be working on getting the wiring harness done which is gonna be the same procedure as when i was installing the light bar so i'm not gonna record that part not to waste anybody's time you can always go back and check how i did that so so let's continue a few moments later unless i run into some some other stuff I'm, i will show you guys again we're just gonna remove all of this and install our new light switch over here pull this out pull this part out unscrew one bolt over here and then just gently pry this thing down now we remove this blank now once again we're probably gonna have to file this because it's not gonna fit now let's get our switch and try it out let's put it the right side up and it's still a little bit too tight so let's file a little bit more beautiful so now let's just put everything back in place all right guys so again i used the same wire loom to wrap around the cable i brought it to the same firewall place at least for now so this is my switch wire over here so now i'm gonna get the wiring harness in place and then we're gonna work on the splicing the lights itself and we're gonna be pretty much done with exceptional minor details all right so this is our wiring harness once again it's pretty simple pretty basic um, hopefully it's gonna work until I do something about there which uh, like I said I'm working on 
so let's just unwrap all of this and also it's a good thing just to look at the wire just to make sure there is no cuts or anything anywhere and yeah all right so this is something something like that that has to be i have to do so this wire so this wire is gonna go to the lights itself and this it has to go to the switch and this has to be tied into the battery again this wire is so short and this has to go to the battery unless i put both of them to the battery for now we'll see now to splice the wires to the wiring harness i'm actually planning to use these type of connectors so then i just simply gonna push it in and at any given time i can take this apart in case i have to fix or redo something so that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna strip these wires a little bit more and then we're just gonna put the connectors on it and crimp it just like that give it a good push make sure it doesn't come off make sure it's nice and tight same with the red one all right give it a good push make sure it doesn't come off all right and of course whenever you work with electric make sure you disconnect the battery just to be on the safe side there we go so now actually I'm gonna have uh, three wires going in total because uh, two wires from this wiring harness and uh, one from the light bar that I already have it in a wire loom over there. So what I'm thinking actually to get a bigger size wire loom and put all three wires in, in it and just hide it in there to make it nicer. I mean, nobody's ever gonna see it underneath the hood, but still. So I'm gonna try to do that, let's see gonna try to play with it see if that's gonna work out or not and we'll see how it goes and another good thing since we're gonna have multiple connections I actually label them so this is for LB for light bar and this is for pots so that way you don't crisscross the connection so now I'm just gonna pull this wire out from this wire loom and I know it looks like mess right now so but hopefully I can fix it up pretty soon Okay guys, so now all the three wires inside this new wire loom, the bigger one. So now I'm gonna have to just um, play with it a little bit to configure how I'm gonna secure it, where the wire is gonna end up. And, and yeah, and I will show you how that's gonna look. So, but for now I'm just gonna have to play with it a little bit. So for now, the relay, the second relay, I'm gonna just keep it over here as well. And I'm also gonna tie it into this bolt as well for the ground, which I use for the light bar over here. And this wire is the one I use for the grill LED lights. So for now, just gonna have to reuse this. My positive wire, I'm just gonna get it inside this wire loom and just secure it over here. So that's how it's gonna be. And this wire, I'm gonna route it all the way over there and we'll have to figure out how I'm gonna connect this because this wire is kinda leave it maybe short, <laughs> maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. And unfortunately it's getting pretty windy, so I'm trying to hurry up, you may say or something, but we'll see. So I already connect my positive power over here, which is gonna go there. So now I'm gonna connect the negative over there, which is a 10 millimeter bolt, just gonna unscrew this a little bit, push this wire under. All right, now let's make it tight. Okay, so now I'm just gonna try to finish up with this wire harness and we can start doing our splices over here.
All right, not too bad. Can almost not see any water or anything. I think it's coming out pretty good. So now I'm gonna work on splashing the wires to the to the lights, and we're pretty much done. So now let's just do this connection over here. Let's connect these wires, just like that. Now I'm gonna put tape on it individually, and then I'm gonna put the tape on the black cable. That way, it's all gonna be sealed. And I'm not planning to put the heat shrink over here because I feel like this is gonna be underneath the hood. I don't think it's gonna be necessary. I might be wrong, maybe not. I don't know. Leave your comments down below what you think. Should I put a heat shrink here or not? I can always redo this. So now we secure this wire. And once again, this is a, I guess they call it like a special electrical tape that it's uh, weather and heat resistant and cold resistant so that's where I'm using it over here so it should be good now I'm just gonna tape up the rest of the cable over here to make a nice seal over here and another thing I would recommend just secure the wire over here with uh, zip ties that way the wire is not gonna get crimped over here or anything it's, uh, it's and it's all gonna be secured so now let's close the hood a little bit just to make sure that the wires are not gonna get in the way from what i can tell it looks perfect so now let's just finish up doing our connection over here like i said i marked both of this all of these plugs so lb that's for light bar so that's what we're gonna do and then we have our pod lights over here so that's what we're gonna do over here and it's really really getting windy so now i'm just gonna tape this all up put it nice connect the battery and we're gonna test it okay guys all the wiring is done everything is in place i think it came out not too bad uh i don't know Leave your comments what you think. So now I'm going to connect the battery and hopefully, hopefully everything still works. So wish me luck. Now the last step is we're going to seal this all the way around over here with this uh, waterproof silicone. So hopefully that will keep these uh, lights intact and no moisture is going to go in. Hopefully. And just small amount like that apply all the way around and then you can always just wipe it all off just like that and all right guys it's all done so now i'm just gonna flip the switch on and we'll see if they're actually working so let's put the switch on and just look at those lights guys wow i'm really impressed it's not too dark yet but even that look at the light how bright they are i think they are bright they look pretty pretty good i like it so that's how the lights look when the just the lights are on and now i have all the lights are on my fog lights my headlights my green lights my hood lights and my light bar so many lights i really like it how it all came out this is pretty pretty good and all right guys i'm again at the empty parking spot so right now i have my headlights on my regular lower beams are on so that's how it looks and now if i turn the headlights off it's pretty dark so now i'm gonna turn my new amber lights on and let's see how it's gonna look and look at that <laughs> that looks pretty good i think that looks pretty good look at the light output of those lights guys look it i feel like it's pretty good especially for the price i pay this is a pretty good light output. I mean, it's not gonna lit up a mile away, but this is pretty good. Maybe I still have to adjust them a little bit. Even that, that looks pretty good. And if you stand right in front of the lights, that's pretty bright as well. Wow. And now I have all the lights are on. That's a lot of light output. So now I'm driving with my headlights on, but if I turn them off and I just turn the amber lights, you can already see the difference look they're really doing a good job lighting up this road they're small yet very powerful i really like them i really like them maybe i have to aim them a little bit but even that that's a very good light output i'm happy and of course if now i'm turning my 
amber lights on and my light bar it's a different story it's a lot of light it's a lot of light two thousand years later and welcome back everyone it's been a whole week since i did the light installation and the truck was just parked sitting there i haven't started it yet so now we're gonna see did those two led lights kill my battery or not but as you can see i still have the lights on them so there is some kind of power so let's try to start it up let's put a key in and it starts right up no problem guys it starts right up nice so those two lights didn't kill my body it's been sitting here for the whole week and as you can see it's working so those two lights they draw in i believe they draw in very very minimal power so it's all good nice let me know what kind of pod lights are you guys using and what kind of light bar are you guys using and maybe i will upgrade something in the future but even during daylight these lights they look bright as always i'm gonna leave all the links in the description to what i've been using hopefully that's gonna give you some idea and leave your comments what else you want to see me doing on the truck i'll try to do that i have something planned in the future but only time will show when I, that's gonna happen but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you might find it helpful and until next time everybody bye